Mr Speaker, presents us with a renewed challenge here in Britain and around the world. And our strategy throughout has been to suppress the virus until a vaccine can make us safe. And while collectively our efforts were working on the old variant, when faced with a new variant that's between 50 to 70 per cent more transmissible, there's been no choice but to respond. And I understand that these regulations that we debate today have serious consequences, and I regret the huge costs that they bring. But I know just as surely that these costs are by far outweighed by the costs that we would bear without action. And the goal is, as uh, my uh, right honourable friend said, that by the middle of next month, we plan to have offered the first dose to everyone in the top four priority groups. And they currently account for four out of five COVID fatalities. Uh, and I'm not sure this is a point that has fully been addressed, which is that because of the strong correlation between age and fatality from COVID, sadly, it means that we will be able to vaccinate those who account, those groups that account for four out of every five fatalities uh, within the top four uh, cohorts. Now, it does then take two to three weeks uh, from the first dose to reach uh, immunity. Uh, but the vaccine, therefore, is the way out of this pandemic, and it's the way to a better year ahead. What's a rate limiting factor is the amount of the actual juice available, the actual vaccine, uh, which is not manufactured like a chemical. It is effectively, um, it, it is a biological product. It's a bit like if you bake your own bread, Madam Deputy Speaker. I don't know if you do, but um, I sometimes do. Um, and it is a bit like the creation of and growth of yeast. That's probably, I mean, it, it's probably the best way to think of it. It is a complicated and difficult, uh, and difficult task, um, and it is, um, uh, and that is the rate limiting factor. And I pay tribute to those who are engaged in the manufacturing process of this critical uh, product. Yes, of course.